everyone this is indra working as assistant professor from department of nutrition and dietetics at ksr college of arts and science for women today we are going to learn about the subject diet counseling under this the topic is about teaching aids used by the dietitian it is a principle in which learning is emphasized as a basic considering individual learning and it is also a basic considering the page person teaching has also changed in traditional teaching computers or tools which to transfer information to the student as a teacher in contemporary teaching on the other hand it is adopted that all students strive to learn have efficient role in education and reach predetermined level of behavioral objectives regarding teaching products the teaching aids which are used in the uh, diet uh, used by dietitians are printed materials a literature is a basic of any teaching program a various types of printed materials such as leaflets folder bulletin newsletter journal pamphlets or valuable and essential tools can be used to import nutrition and health education the second one is leaflet the leaflet is a single sheet or paper folded a four page piece of printed matter it is a single printed sheet of a paper of small size contains preliminary data related to a topic it is made as and when needed and generally distributed in the community the second one is pamphlets it is a printed a bound booklet with a number of pages containing comprehensive data about a topic it is prepared as and when required the next one is newsletter it is a miniature of newspaper in good quality of information relating to the activities and achievements of the organization it is published periodically then posters or charts or bill pasting it is an important visual aid it also part of a it always a part of exhibition campaign or nutrition education or program it is usually announce the purpose of the project it have few words simple idea and bold letters the next one is flip chart it is made of number of posters that are meant to show one after the another in this way several steps or aspect of a central topic can be presented the second topic is about preparation of teaching material for the patient suffering from various diseases when it come to preparing teaching material for patient suffering from disease it is essential to consider the specific need challenges and preference of the target guide audience the goal of this material is to empower pa- patients with the knowledge and skills necessary to manage their condi- condition effectively make informed decisions about their health care and ultimately improve their quality of life the first step is understanding the target audience the it is prepared by preparing teaching material for the patient with the disease is to gain a thorough understanding of the target audience then patient center approaches it is a fundamental principle in health care and it is usually important in development of teaching material for the patient with disease incorporating evidence based information the information presented in the teaching materials for the patients with disease should be based on the best available editions evidence from reputable sources such as clinical practice guidelines pre reviewed research and expert consensus statement then sec- ne- next one is use use of visual aids and technology incorporating visual aids and technology can significantly enhance the effectiveness of teaching materials for the patient with disease addressing health literacy health literacy refers to the ability of the individual to obtain process and understand basic health information and services needed to make appropriate health decision tailoring content to disease specific needs different disease and condition present unique challenges and consideration that should be reflected in the teaching materials collaboration with the interdisciplinary team while preparing the teaching material for the patients with the disease it often requires the collaboration with interdisciplinary team of healthcare professionals fish uh, that is physician nurses pharmacist dietitian social worker and educators evaluating the effectiveness of teaching material after the preparation of teaching material it is essential to evaluate their effectiveness in achieving the intended learning outcomes 
these are the examples for the teaching material used to gui uh, guide the uh, digestive disorder patients and hypertension patients.